New Jersey radio station came a revolution in telephony. From the transmitter there, speech was sent to the moon and bounced back to Earth to be received in California. How was it done? In the same way that radar signals have been moon bounced, as the technicians call it. But never before had the friendly satellite helped in a two-way speech conversation. Goldstone, in the Californian desert, was the other end of the experiment, carried out during a period of the moon's mutual visibility. For the service, the moon makes no charge. At zero hour on both sides of the continent, it was hoped that the voice translated into radio signals would reach the moon at the speed of light, bounce back and be turned into speech again, all in a matter of seconds. Uh, this is Bill Jakes at uh, Bell Telephone Laboratories, home down, coming right back to you, Walt. I read you loud and clear, You're coming in very fine. Uh, what is the length of time that you calculate for your voice to get out to me? Over. Uh, it seems like, uh, Bill, that it uh, takes, a lot, takes about uh, five seconds for me to get a reply back from you. Over. Uh, yes, that uh, would sound like uh, it's going two and a half seconds one way and two and a half seconds the other way. That's really putting space to good use, opening a new chapter in radio telephony. Any girl like a job up there to give a hand on the switchboard to the man in the moon?